Hello everyone. So there is new question in front of us. A program reads an integer number within the range 1 to 100 and determine whether it is prime number or not. Design test cases for this program using BBC boundary value checking robust testing and worst case testing method. So try to understand every uh, test case has is its own formula to decide how many test cases will be there in that particular test. Right. Here we need to find an integer number. It means only one variable is there. So value of n will be one. Fine. And finding prime number. What is meant by prime number? Number which is divisible by itself and by one are the prime number. So the range between we need to find is one to hundred. So we will see the solution. Test cases using BVC boundary value checking. Since there is one variable, the total number of test cases will be four n plus one is equal to 5. So value of n will be 1. So 4 into 1, 4 plus 1, 5. So in table, total number of test cases will be 5. So for that, minimum and maximum value need to be set as we are deriving boundaries. So we will start with the minimum value 1. Minimum plus value, it means add 1 in that. So 1 and the next number is 2. Then max value, maximum value is 100. And max minus value, the before 1, before 100 is 99. Right? And the nominal average value between 1 to 100, we will consider 50 to 55. Fine? So if you will count, there are 5 possibilities we have considered. Then using these values, test case can be designed as shown in shown below. So test case ID, we have written one column integer variable and expected output. So test case ID one for that we have considered first number as one. And <clears throat> that number is not a prime number. For the second test case ID, the variable is two and that is prime number. Third ID number is 100 which is not a prime number because 100 is not divisible by only itself and only one. It can be divisible by any other number also. So it is not a prime number. Next is 99. So that is also not a prime number. And third between 50 to 55 we can consider 53. So that is prime number. Instead of this, if someone want to choose 51, they can choose 51, 52, 53, 54, even 50 and 55, any number. But if we have decided the nominal value 50 to 55, then we should choose any one number between them. So this is what using BVC, test cases using BVC. Second, they have asked robust testing. Okay, so for that, test cases using robust testing. Since there is one variable, the total number of test cases will be 6 into 1 plus 1 and value of n is 1. If uh, we were having two variables such as to find prime number, odd number, even number, right, two or three variables, then value of n might be changed. So here the total number of boundary values will be 7. So let us try to extract the boundary values. It is very easy. Minimum value we know, maximum value we know. Minimum value is 1. Then minimum minus value is 0. Minimum plus value is 2. So we need to stick to that minimum number plus and minus we will consider. Then maximum value is 100. So maximum minus value below 100 is 99 and maximum plus value above 100 is 101. <clears throat> so
so nominal values again the average of 1 to 100 is 50 to 55 so if you'll count we have taken so far seven numbers 1 0 2 100 99 1 0 1 50 to 55 Based on that, we will design the table test case IDs. So 1 to 7 test case, test case IDs we have written and the values as we have considered 1, 0, 2, 199. So we will write it sequentially 0, 1, 2, 100, 99, 101 and 53 between 50 and 55. So as we know, 0 and 101 are the invalid inputs because range is 1 to 100. So we will clearly write in front of 0 and 101 invalid input even though 101 can be considered as prime but it is not in our range. So we will write invalid input. Then 1 not a prime number, 2 prime number, 100 not a prime number, 99 not a prime number and 53 prime number. Fine. I hope it is very easy and easily you can solve this. So third, they have asked test cases using worst case testing and the formula for worst case is 5 raised to n. So as variable is 1, so 5 raised to 1, the answer will be 5. And already we have derived 5 different numbers. So we can write the number of test cases will be same as that of BVC. If someone want to write the table again, then you can write the same table again but i think there is no need to write it again to uh, do not waste our time so just mention therefore the number of test cases will be same as bvc fine we'll just check question again what was the question program reads an integer number within the range 100 and determines whether it is prime number or not design test cases for this program using BVC robust testing and worst case testing for BVC the formula is 4n plus 1 for robust testing formula is 6n plus 1 and for test case using worst case the formula is 5 raised to n whatever may be the variable we will write the value of n accordingly and then we will get the number of test cases fine here again for the next example if you will see a program computes a raised to b where a lies in the range 1 to 10 and b within 1 to 5 design test cases for this program using bvc robust and worst case testing so for BVC formula is 4n plus 1 but here total number of variables are 2 a and b so value of n will be 2 4 into 2 8 plus 1 9 so we will write <coughs> the boundary values as for a 1 minimum for b 1 minimum and uh, minimum plus value is 2 2 maximum values for a and b will be different is 10 and 5 so maximum minus value below that number 9 and for 5 is 4 and nominal 1 to 10 is 5 and nominal for 1 to 5 is 3 see these ranges are depending upon the question right So they have just mentioned the ranges over here. So accordingly we will write. Then you may ask the question sir we should write 9 different possibilities. No. 5 for 1 and 5 for 1. So 10 is more than enough. Right. Using this values taste cases. So what we will do we will write all the numbers. Which we have generated. In the combination of 9 possibilities so for a value is 1 for b value is 3 so expected output is 1 how formula is a raised to b formula is a raised to b so 1 raised to 3 is 1 again value of 
a is 2 and b is 3 so 2 raised to 3 answer will be 8 again the value of a is 10 value of b is 3 so expected output 10 raised to 3 so on 9 raised to 3 5 raised to 1 5 raised to 2 5 raised to 4 5 raised to 5 and 5 raised to 3 you can calculate the values and you can write under expected output column fine similarly for robust 6 and plus 1 that is 13 because 6 into 2 12 plus 1 13 so here we will write minimum minimum minus and minimum plus right so 1 0 and 2 minimum value is 1 the minus 1 means below that number is 0 and minimum plus above that number is 2 so maximum value for a is 10 and for b is 5 depending upon range given in the question so maximum value for both that number for 10 that is 11 for 5 that is 6 and maximum minus value below 10 is 9 and below 5 is 4 and nominal values are 5 and 3 same as that of previous just we have written one one number extra using this values so here we need to write around 13 test case ids so we have already written test case id 1 to 13 the numbers will be considered based on the numbers which we have derived over here 1 0 2 10 11 9 and 5 and accordingly we will make combinations 1 raised to 1 1 raised to 0 1 raised to 2 1 raised to 5 1 raised to 6 1 raised to 4 1 raised to 3 or if we wish we can consider 2 raised to 1 2 raised to 0 2 raised to 2 and so on fine so here 0 raised to 3 invalid 1 raised to 3 1 2 raised to 3 8 10 raised to 3 thousand 11 raised to 3 invalid input now question arises why we are uh, writing invalid because the range is 1 to 10 so 0 is invalid and 11 is invalid again 5 raised to 0 we cannot write 5 raised to 0 because for raised to for the value of b the range is 1 to 5 so therefore this is also invalid and last 5 raised to 6 that is also invalid because for b the range is 1 to 5 i hope you understood and finally test case using worst case testing since there are two variables a and b the total number of test cases will be 5 raised to n 25 so here we will write the boundary values 1 2 10 9 5 right and here the test case ids will be 25 see don't think about that table is so huge right it is very easy to calculate the numbers using calci you can take the numbers starting from 1 to 10 depending upon these table right using this table you can write the numbers and you can make the combinations that is very easy 1 raise to 1 1 raise to 2 1 raise to 3 1 raise to 4 1 raise to 5 so you will get the expected output again for 2 2 raise to 1 2 raise to 2 2 raise to 3 2 raise to 4 2 raise to 5 again same for the 5 right you can take 9 10 right but make sure the number should be considered from this table only not other than this okay and the expected output you can calculate using calci and that's it for this question and if possible yes already we have seen this uh, no we have not covered 4.3 so far but you can take this as an homework okay i hope you understood these two questions please try to solve it by yourself please do post any doubt difficulties or your valuable feedback thank you so much